Can I have a go at it? Got him. Oh. <laughs> Look so at the size of that thing. Those yellow bellies, it. Look at the size of him. Today we're out at a little creek. Uh, me and Josie have already been here once this year. It was really early in the season and we only got like two yabbies. We're here for a good hour. The water level has dropped fairly dramatically. When we were here, I don't know how good it's going to show that the water level was right up to this bank. So it's dropped a good, close to a metre I reckon. All up under the bridge here, that was all flooded. And what I'm seeing is not a lot here, but we'll go up. I've got the traps laid out ready. I'll just give you a quick look. Today what I've got in there is a bit of pumpkin. Someone suggested pumpkin. I forget um, who it was. I'll have to have a look and let you know later on. And some dog biscuits. So they got a bit of a smorgasbord there. We'll get the traps in first and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Trap number one. And I'm going to put them right in the middle. And it's still fairly deep there. That'd have to be a good two or three foot. I've just come down about 10 metres, so the first trap's only just sort of about there somewhere. And what I can see, I don't know how good it's going to show with them shadows, but along that bank, along that bank there, there's a heap of yabby holes. So given there's a heap of yabby holes there, then maybe, and the water level's dropped, they may be getting hungry. I reckon there was a floods coming through this creek when we were here last, and it was fairly well flowing. A banker so it wasn't ideal we've got trap number two i'm just going to um, put it out here close proximity to all these yabby holes and go straight in the middle again and again it's still pretty bloody deep there i wouldn't have thought it would have been so deep it'd be, have to be a good three or four foot and down where i'm going to put this third trap this is the exact spot where me and Josie sat with a couple of lines and we did get, the, the couple that we got were bloody big. Um, she got one right here, a really big fella, and I got a big fella right here. And I'm just looking, there's, there is quite a few good yabby holes along this bank. Um, yeah, there's a few along this side too. And what I'm nearly thinking, there's a heap of reeds and stuff in the water out here. I'm going to try and get a um, trap over near all them reeds. So trap number three, I'm going to try and get out here near these reeds. Perfect. And it is reasonably deep there. The trap is under the water a little way, so. And trap number four, we've got this bloggy snaggy area here, which I'm thinking I was going to put the trap just here, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down in amongst all this loggy, snaggy area. The grass looked a little bit thick, but it's not too bad. Because I reckon if I'm going to sit with some lines, that's where I'm going to sit on this log here. I'll get the trap down in amongst all these logs and sticks and stuff over there. And that is bloody surprisingly deep. I nearly reckon it'd probably be worth throwing a uh, fishing line in here. Because as you can see, I'll see if I can come up here and just um, pick it up on camera. I might even go try and find a clear path down there. The creek runs down here and you can just make it out. It opens right up into a big pool. And beyond that big pool, running that way, is a fairly major creek. And I know there's good fish in the major creek. And it's been flooding through there fairly well continually for at least probably five times, I reckon, uh, in the last few months. So the yellow belly would have to have swum up the creek and it's deep enough. Um, given when this is full, it's normally a metre deeper than what it is and it'd have to be a good metre deep there. And I'm nearly thinking that's not, that wouldn't be the deeper spot. I reckon the deeper spot's up there in that uh, really big part. But what we're going to do now, 
I'm going to head a lot further out and test out a dam and we'll go and have a look at it. Um, just see, I'll just throw a few lines in there and see how it goes. I haven't been there in years and years and I do know it did dry up through the drought for a long time. So, but you just never know. We'll head out to this other spot and have a look and we'll come back to these traps. It'll probably take me about two hours, I reckon. If there's no yabbies there, if there's a heap of yabbies there, we'll just have to wait and see. I've made it out to this dam out in the sticks and we are way out in the sticks now. And it's a total bust. Absolutely nothing here. I've tried along this bank, tried up there, tried along here, give the line. Line's in the, been in the water for a good 20 minutes, not a single um, bite. One thing I have noticed, and the dam's got everything going for it. It's a fairly well clay base. It's the right colour. I know it's nice and deep. Uh, there is a creek that runs not too far from here, but just not a single yabby. Uh, one thing I have noticed, I'll just see if we can bring the line in here. See if there's one hot there is. Have a look at that. See if he's still going to hold on there. There's heaps of them little water beetles. Like millions of them. Just sitting on the bank here, you can just see them coming up. They must breathe air because they come up to the surface and then duck down again really quickly. And I've checked my meat a few times and there'd be four or five of them things hanging on there. And they really latch onto the meat so I probably wouldn't want to be swimming in here. You'd... Um, they tend, they got a fair bloody set of nippers on them. And I've tried a few dams up through this area um, that have done, had no yabbies in them at all. And they've been riddled with them little black beetles. So I don't know whether that's got anything to do, whether they drive the yabbies out or there's just heaps of them here because there's no yabbies, I don't know. But um, that's one thing I've noticed. If there's heaps and heaps of them little water beetles, there'll be no yabbies. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to waste any more time here. We're going to go and keep moving along. And that just goes to show not every dam or every water hole is going to be a bonanza either. There's plenty of spots that you'll, you'll go to and there'll just be nothing in there. So it's all part of the game. Woo wee It's getting bloody hot now. I've been exploring and I found a little creek. I'll give you a look. I haven't been back to that other creek yet. Now that I'm all the way out here, I thought I'd have a bit of a look around. And I found this beautiful looking little spot. Check this out. There's holes like this everywhere. And I know there's yabbies here. I've flipped a rock and found a little fella. But what's also interesting is, I had me meat out here for oh, a couple of minutes and there was a decent sized fish had grabbed it. Uh, I've got a really decent sized hook on my line, but I had a chunk of meat like that on there, so um, I'll give you a look. I got me right up here, and I did see a snake. There was a little brown fella. He slithered straight across the middle of that hole there, so I'll have to keep my eye out. The creek goes up, and it looks like there's some fairly decent holes up there. Um, that's as thick as anything trying to get up there. But, looks bloody nice. We'll go up here. I just wanted to have a bit of a cast in this hole because I've seen along the banks here, there's fairly, I seriously doubt whether they're carp up in here. So what I'm going to do, I've got definitely got something on my rod there now. We'll see if I can get whatever's in of, on my rod. To the big yabby, I'd say. I have to watch out a little bit. This is where that snake was, but he went to the other side, so not too concerned. Holy dooly. Oh, yes. That's a bloody monster. Unbelievable. I'll see if I can get him. It was out there in the middle. So, yes. You beauty! Got him. He's a monster too. Have a go at that. The worst thing is, it's hitting about 35 now. 
and I'm out of water, so I can't stay here. So we're gonna have to make a trip back to this creek. Uh, what I'll do is I'll bring some worms. We'll bring the traps. So we'll have a look at this fella. And I've only been here for a couple of minutes. Literally only just pulled up. He's a bloody lobster. He's a nice one. So we're gonna let this fella go. Let him go. And we'll make a trip back here. I'm gonna have, I can't hang around right at the very minute because I'm out of bloody water and it's getting hot. It'd have to be well over 35. There's a bit of shade up here, but without water, I'm not hanging around. I'm not drinking this water. And like I said, down this, ooh, that was a pretty good swell right there. There's obviously fish in here. I'm gonna bring some worms back, some traps, and we'll go for a walk along. I'll have to put gum boots on because there was a snake definitely went across there when I first come down here, so he'd be hanging around. But some of these holes are pretty bloody deep, so. Anyway, we'll head over and we'll check the traps and see how we go. We've made it back to the creek where our traps are. I'm sorry if it's a bit noisy, them car, that bloody road's busy as today. Anyway, we'll get these traps in, see how we go. Trap number one coming in. Pretty weak. One yabby. We'll keep him. Trap number two coming in. Hopefully it's performed a little bit better than that trap number one. Oh yes, he's a bit better. What have we got in here? Number three. So we've got a whole total of four so far. Hopefully the traps keep getting better. <laughs> We're gonna be in trouble. Nice one though. Oh, there is fish in here. Look at that. I can see one. See him over there? Right about there he is. Right about there now. I don't know how good it's going to show up from camera. So there is decent sized fish in here. That's probably why there's not a lot of yabbies. I had a feeling there would be. We'll have to come back with the rods one day and um, see what we can catch. Trap number three coming in. This is the one where I reckon would probably do all right. Oh yeah, done all right. Not great. Definitely not my best set of traps, but starting to get enough for a feed. Another four there. So that's nine. And trap number four coming up. That is pretty bloody deep right there. Not a single yabby. Sort of tells me there's probably fish hanging around here and they've probably been raiding the traps. So not a single yabby in that last trap. Sort of tells me the fish hanging around. I reckon there's been fish in there raiding the bloody yabbies on me. But we've got enough to do what we want to do today. We'll head in, I've got a little recipe I want to test out and we'll um, see you in the kitchen. I've just pulled myself out of the water and we'll go and check this rod because I'm pretty sure there was something just pulling on it. I've already got them yabbies boiling up now so I was going to add a few more of the pot. I think we end up with eight. For some reason I thought we had nine but um, we did and I let that big fella go. So we ended up keeping eight which is alright because they're nice big yabbies. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something going off on this line here. Have a look. And I'm just out in the water. Swimming anyway, so. Got himself tangled up. Oh yeah, there's definitely something on here. He's heading out this way and I actually threw the line out this way in the shade. Now we'll see if we can bring him up. And I've got the big scoop. He feels like a decent sized yabby this one. He might find himself in the pot. There we go. He's got yourself a bit of bonus footage, extra yabby there. We're just gonna let him go. I've already got some in the pot. Um, don't forget, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It really helps us out and we appreciate it a lot. He's probably a little bit too small anyway. We'll get him out here in the sun where you can see him. 
He's probably borderline too small, I'd say. If we do get a really big, nice, clean monster, it, I might not be able to help myself, but this fella here, it's his lucky day. So we set him off for a swim out in the open ocean. He's pretty safe here, because I think they're about the top predator in this lake. Apart from the crocodiles, that is. So I better give you a look at what we come out here for. We got our yabbies absolutely brewing up in there. They're on a roll and boil. <laughs> and what we've got in there is a special blend of secret herbs and spices. Now yabbies have been on there for a good five minutes. Probably closer to seven, I'd say. Oh, have a look at that in the sun. Hopefully I've got you in frame. What I'm gonna do is sit them down here in the water on the edge of the lake. What that'll do is cool them down. I'm just gonna let them soak up that juice for about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna head back out into the water here. I can see me line going off over there, but I can't drag myself out of this water to go and check it. We'll go and have a look. He's not letting go of the meat anyway. Ah, oh, he's only a little tacker. I'll tell you what, he's rubbing that meat fairly well. Throw it back out. Another little tacker. I guess we better drag ourselves back out of the water and check on these yabbies. Ooh, they look good. Give them the finger test. Yeah, that's cooled down heaps. It's been about 15 minutes and they're pretty well. I have come up a couple of times and give them a bit of a shake around. And they're about the temperature of the lake now, so I reckon they're bloody good enough to go for me. Got a couple of beauties here ready to go. Look at that. What I'm going to do, dip him in our little secret blend of sauce there. Get you in the light where I can see you. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's absolute magic. What I've got to get myself is some of that Louisiana style um, herbs and spices, Xenorans, I reckon. It's a bit expensive in Australia. I priced it the other day and it's like a hundred bucks to get it here. Give me a comment down below if you want to see it. Anyway, we're going to leave this one here. I'm going to finish these off. I've already had three or four, so I've only got three or four left in there. We've actually got five left in there, I think. Wait up, what have we got here? Yeah, I've had three, so I've got five left in there. They're good size and I've got all the nippers to go through. And we'll leave it there and we'll catch you on the next one.